Hey everybody, and welcome back to Kerbal Space Program RP0. We're joining the uh, Mars 4.2 as it is about to make its uh, deorbit and hopefully landing on Mars. This is our last greatest attempt and the one for which I thought had the best chance of success. Do you want to double check? Yeah, we've got one more day until the uh, Deimos 4-2, which is essentially a carbon copy of this spacecraft minus the parachutes, because it's intended to go to Deimos, and if it has the fuel, go to Phobos as well. So there's that. Uh, but it's still a day away from making its um, appearance here in Mars SOI, so we've got time, hopefully, to get this landing underway and dealt with. Uh, pretty much, so I'm just going to take a quick look at the map, see what we're looking at as far as all of our things. But yeah, we'll be landing during the day, we'll have our own independent signal. Well, when we open our antenna, we will anyway, but we can also bounce through this probe. Uh, by the time we set down, our parent craft will be above. Uh, this might be a little touchy behind, eh, a little beyond the horizon because it's so low. This might still be overhead. Uh, our parent craft will hopefully still be overhead. So let's just... Uh, yeah, our, our gear is going to go out, so let's... Arm parachute. Arm parachute. Can't forget those. Tuck that away. 401, that's not right. Ah, okay, there we go. Alright, so, um, I guess let's just get the show on the road, shall we? Although that's quite pretty. I like that. Alright, in we go. To clunk. Let's get ourselves facing into the wind. Do a quick radio in. Now that might well we're slow enough. It shouldn't shouldn't matter much, but uh I think in sixteen minutes we might be pretty close to the ground. Here's hoping anyway. Uh still picking up a little speed. Cloud cover disappearing. Our periapsis is falling quite steadily. Although I guess I would like our butt facing down just a bit, see if we can't get a little lift off of this and prolong our time to periapsis. It's not going to do us a lot, but uh. Any more time in the air is a, a little better. It gives us more time to slow down, more time to let drag do its thing. So, let's work our way through it.
All right, gear is out. That's good. Uh, quite a little bit of wiggle we got going on here. But uh, our rate of descent is, well, it was pointing straight at the 100. Now it's kind of dipping up a bit. So every time I kind of make one of these little bump corrections to just our angle, our rate of descent decreases, which is uh, what I would like. Really, although the excessive thruster action is depleting fuel. Alright, well, there's our official deorbit notification at the camera switch. We are at 40 kilometers altitude and facing off at a weird angle. Which I'm just going to let happen because I can't be bothered. 38. Just, uh... Waiting for us to get a little bit lower. Wow, what is going on here? Why are we so incredibly off our angle? Come on, hold it steady. 35. All right, we're just gonna light up the engine. That uh, helps improve our stability because it's got a nice gimbal. And hopefully we can get uh, nice and slow down before we hit our 10 kilometer um, trigger for parachute deployment, which good, their command went through. They should be armed, they are. Notice the light blue there in the parachute. We just need to get that thing to turn green. And uh, life will be a little bit better for us. So it looks like we're gonna come down in Mars's Midlands, which is not very interesting. Uh, as far as biomes are concerned, it's not a landmark or anything, but uh, we'll, we'll take what we can get, really. No, it does not like me adjusting our heading, not one little bit. Alright, I need to put as much of this energy into just straight slowing down as I can. Did this tank already burn off? It did. I was going to use that for our, like, reserve emergency parachutes are about to deploy fuel, so... Oh, it's just gonna burn it off a second. As soon as we use it! Alright, parachutes are yellow. That's good. 34 kilometers altitude. Dude, you can do it. Go green. All right, let's let's keep a little altitude here. Maybe we can put this to our advantage as far as slowing down. Fourteen hundred meters per second left in the tank. I'm going to have to deactivate the engine for a little while and let uh, drag do its thing. Ah, crap. Crap, crap, crap. But we're still at 32 kilometers, so I think... Um, we've got some time before our parachutes deploy, <laughs> thankfully. Oh, God. Come on, go green. Please just go green. Parachutes, I need you. <laughs> yeah, man, that rate of deceleration just due to drag is not very high at all. I mean, we're... We're losing tenths of a meter per second. Per second. Oh, come on. You're doing just fine holding your attitude before. Now you want to go all wonky on me. Dude, what are you doing? Alright, well, we're starting to see some actual deceleration. I'm gonna fire that engine again. We need to slow down in earnest if we're going to keep these parachutes on. A uh, minute 20 of fuel remaining. Let's, if we can get those parachutes out and they don't tear off, we'll shut the engine down again and save the rest of the fuel for touchdown. Come on, parachutes. Come 
Come on, parachutes. What is it going to take here, man? Alright. Shut it down for a second more. Oh. Man, keeping this heading without the engine on is just turning into all-out pain. No, no, no. Alright, fine. <laughs> we'll use the engine. Come on, go green. Alright. And it's not giving us a warning on the parachutes. They should be A-OK -okay to go. And they will help keep us in the correct heading. Parachute deployed! First time ever. <laughs> yes! Yes! And they're keeping us true to retrograde. Oh, thank God. All right, seven kilometers actual altitude. Current speed, 500 meters per second. 550 or so. We've got 510 left in the tank. Uh, this is going fairly well. And there goes our full parachute deployment. Wow, that's a lot of G-forces. Holy crap. Look at our speed. <laughs> We just said 500 meters per second next to nothing. We're down to 13 meters per second. I can't turn the engine back on. We might gain altitude. Well, hey, we're getting some, uh, oh no, biological sample can be reset. While flying over Mars's highlands. Oh, we changed biomes. And we already got this one. <laughs> Inevitably from our last mission. Current altitude is actually three kilometers. We are showing uh, 15 on this one. Man, good thing I added this little guy down here. We might be in trouble. <laughs> so, if I use the thrusters to slow down, does that take hold or do we speed back up? We speed back up. So, uh, two kilometers at current rate of descent. It's going to be a minute. But uh, this is history, everyone. <laughs> I, I really doubt we're going to screw this up. I mean, don't get me wrong. It can still happen. Absolutely, it can still happen. But I really don't think we're going to screw this up. I am just going to lay on the thrusters the entire way down in hopes of getting that uh, a little bit lower. But I think the impact tolerance on these is way higher than 11. So hopefully, hopefully, I'm, I'm absolutely terrified to light the engine because we have a thrust to weight ratio of four and a half or four and a quarter. And if we start going up, the parachutes may auto cut. And that would be, I don't want to do a powered descent anymore. I've come so far. <laughs> I'm so close to just landing this thing. All right, we are below 500 meters. Mark. I'll take it out of time warp. Ten and a half meters per second. Still having a little trouble keeping it to actual retrograde, but we're we're getting there. We'd lose just a, another meter per second or so. That'd be great, but I don't think it's going to happen. All right. The last 100 meters. Easy does it. Easy does it. Please don't smash. Please don't smash. No! We're down! Yes! I have landed something on Mars. <laughs> the curse has been lifted. We have landed on Mars. Hallelujah! Quick save. <laughs> Not doing that over again. We are in Mars Highland. Uh, the spacecraft is in good working order. We have contact with home, which is awesome because I didn't write a boot sequence because I was just so distracted. All right, we're going to turn our RCS system off. 
but uh, I guess that means we'll actually have to lock our fuel tank. That should be the last one with fuel in it. It is. We're down. It's done. The Great Red Hill has been conquered. <laughs> we have discovered the formula for successfully putting something down on the surface of Mars. All right, power draw looks good. We can put Delta V away. We don't need you anymore. This thing will stay on for... Why? What? No. Okay. <laughs> ah! It worked. All right. We will uh, activate our antennas for Earth. It will activate on its own. We'll take a radio in and get all of our surface data. And instrumentation, our first readings from the surface of Mars in about 15 minutes or so. A little time warping just cause. The sky looks awfully bleak here. No connection. Yeah, I guess our satellite passed us. Um, oh, that was the RCS off command, so hopefully... Bounce. Please don't do that. Yes! Now we have connection. <laughs> ha ha! Woohoo! Alright, we can start transmitting in some of this data as it, uh, as soon as the list populates. Surface hydrogen scan from Mars. We tucked one of those on the bottom. That'll give us 60 science. 60 science added. Telemetry analysis will give us another 45. Radio that home. Thank you, sir. Added. Temperature scan give us another 60. Sweet. Geiger counter gives us another 60. Uh, micrometeorite will give us 60. The gravity scan will pay out 50. Biological sample, since we're radioing in, will only give us 25. Yeah, we'll take it. Transmit. Magnetometer scan will give us another 50. Uh, I haven't been watching to see if these have been... Science added, science added, science added. So let's just, uh, yeah, I mean, it looks like. Man, our reputation still sucks, but we're getting there. What do we got here? Contract complete. Science data from the surface of Mars. Yay. <laughs> That's how much we got paid to do this. We failed so many times, they won't even give us the contract to do it. Nor does it recognize the world first of landing something on Mars. Or maybe I got that when some debris bounced on one of our previous failures. But there it is, the Mars 4.2, setting records, landing safely on Mars, proving that I am not absolutely terrible at this game, despite um, what this series may prove otherwise. But, oh man, exciting, exciting day. Hallelujah. <laughs> and that's going to do it for this episode, everybody. Thank you so much for hanging out. Uh, I hope you got just as much joy out of watching this finally come together as I did. I know it's been many craters made uh, leading up to this but I'm excited but uh, thanks for being here thanks for witnessing this with me I do appreciate it and I will see all of you in the next one until then see you later